Hello and welcome everyone back on the channel, Park and Lee here from Race Department. Today I want to show you how to install um, F1 team swept for my team. So you might have seen my mod at Race Department, the F1 teams for my team, the same as last year, but people asked me to do a video how to copy paste this and that. I think it's pretty easy going forward, but yeah, you never know. So. As the overview states, this mod makes you able to use real F1 21 chassis for Mighty Mode. Um, obviously, the in game selection will not be affected by that, only in the showroom and in the race, uh, in all active sessions, not in the livery choose, uh, choice screen. So, the requirements are here. You need the base file, same as last year, so I don't need to make a new video for that because the old one is still completely good for this year I kept it all the same way our installation is pretty forward we will go through that all time now and then we'll have to choose uh, make a choice which one we want to use so of course you have to download the file here you click and download it I will not click it because it takes so much time because a 300 megabyte as I included MIPS which are not there by default for many teams. I don't know, Code Masters this year somehow screwed it up. Don't ask me why. They just screwed it up and I can't say eh, it's a good job they've been done. So anyway, so this would be the mod that you would have downloaded. This is the zip file of my mod. And inside you find 10 teams. Uh, the one from the F121, obviously. And you have to make a choice. So which one you want to use as a chassis base for your mighty mode. So in my example here, we go with Mercedes. So let's head into the Mercedes folder. Now you have two, uh, one folder and one file uh, to copy. And there's a readme file which states, okay, you copy the folder into the main folder F F121 and you copy the ERP file into the modular mods active folder. All right, so we will do this right now. We will copy, these are the MIPS of the textures. Some I use it, some don't. My default comes with it this time, last, uh, like last year. So we copy this folder, we copy it, all right. And then we head into our F121 main directory, okay? This is the main directory. You don't go into the subfolder, nothing else. You just paste it here, okay? You copy it from A, to be and it is already existing for me so I just replace the files there's no issue there so this is not asset groups it's just the main file you copy it there it will create a subfolder on teams called Xerxedes because this is what my mods uh, base names is so we don't have a duplicate of the F1 team then we go back to our zip file here and we copy my team F1 Mercedes ERP because we chose Mercedes. You can chase, choose another one uh, into modular mods, active and copy it inside. I already have it inside. It's not a big issue. And this is all you need to do. So if you now load up the game, you will be able to already see the effect of the my team. As I stated, not in delivery selection. You will only see it in the showroom and in the actual sessions. So qualifying, race, uh, what is the practice? <laughs> because delivery itself still does show the multiplayer FOM car and it's not affected by that. So don't get confused if you go into customization and you think eh, it's not there. You know, uh, let's go continue my team career. And I have included this year not the original textures because someone last year called it, it was uploading original content, it was unmodified, so I thought, okay, screw it. I just invert the colors and you have to live with that. Now, of course, you have to choose your own to import. I will show you in the next step. So as you can see here, we now have the Mercedes car in my team. And we could, like I said, if you now go into customization, it will not be affected, okay? So here you will see your normal My Team car because this is the multiplayer car, all right? For multiplayer, it is going to be used. But if you head back, uh, this is the one you will see in the races and in your game. So now we want to import or use different custom texture, okay? 
So because th you think, yeah, I, w I don't want to have a white Mercedes. I just want to use the Mercedes chassis, but I want to use my own livery. Or a livery by someone else. Okay, why not? Sure, that's why we have it. So, let's head back here, for example, the race department. Uh, somewhere we're creating here. Let's check out all oh, the sport F1 team. It is for my team for the Mercedes chassis. I mean, you can use it as well for the real Mercedes team. It's no problem there. You can see the overview page of him. This You might think, oh, well, yeah, it's a great car. I like to, oh, yeah, red and black and all these sport. I really love it. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, holographic testing livery. I want to have it. Yeah, of course. Then you just go download it. And you will have a download here. That's his. And if you're lucky, it is copy and paste. If you're lucky, it is copy and paste. If you're lucky. So like here, it is copy and paste. Uh, he has no MIPS included as far as I have seen. So we don't have a vehicle folder. Usually there should be because it is not a good way to just have one MIP. It's in general not a really good way and it never used to be. I told him that already because usually you would have, you know, uh, more MIPs because a texture is gonna be loaded in multiple levels in the game. Uh, somehow Codemaster screwed it up this year, but okay. So we can just copy this one here again into F121, modular mods, active. You paste it inside. And now we should see the other livery being active in my team with the Mercedes chassis. And if you like, well, we go one step further. So if you create your own texture, maybe, well, it could happen. We will import it. Let's find out. Okay, first here, we should see the black and the red. Why is that black now? I'm confused. Oh, I hate the white screen. Okay. Sorry about the loading time, guys. It's already SSD. I can't make it faster. So now you see, this is his, the Audi Sport in black and red. So this is all you do. Copy and paste. So the next step now. You might uh, come up with a with a um, different one. Like maybe it's it's not meant for that. Okay, so so maybe you found a different Mercedes texture. Um, I, I think there is some. If if we look uh, look for skins, let's see. Maybe someone has a Mercedes. Oh yeah, here you can see it. Mercedes EQ Performance Silver Arrows Team Package. This and that. You might want to use that, and you might want to use your own livery, and you might want to use this or that, or I don't know. So I will show you the next step, what you can do if you're doing it on your own, and this is your first time. If you have worked with ERP already with the EEA, uh, you can just quit the video here. Thanks for watching, thanks for stepping by, see you next time. Uh, the rest might want to continue and see how they can do. So we have a Mercedes paint, for example, here. Okay, and we have our my team F1 Mercedes here. Um, the best practice is because he is using no MIPS, we should be using MIPS, and uh, I will delete it. Okay, we will delete it again. We will start from the scratch. We will again go to our MIPS here, go to Mercedes, copy our base Mercedes from the mod inside. Okay, so you see, this is an ERP file. And an ERP file is to be opened, opened with uh, the EEA 8.0.1 this year. So this is the, I will link the tool in the description, the Ego ERP Achiever, EEA, okay? This is by Peter and he's doing it for over a decade and we really rely on his tools. So you can go on this page, you download it. And please, if you can, put some donation in there. If you can, and you can spend it, $1, $2, $10, $20, it doesn't matter. If you can, just put something in there. Please, not one cent or something ridiculous. It's It costs more than it's worth because there are fees to be paid. Um, I already have it, so I have my own donor link. If you don't can afford it, well, 
okay, so be it. You can just say, no thanks, you don't know the Ego ERP Achiever 8.0.1. This is the last version from July. And we will have it, sorry, I'm a little bit confused right now. We will have it here, the Ego ERP Achiever. And inside, you just copy and paste it wherever you want to have it, okay? This is all new. Where you want to copy and paste it is a zip file with an open folder, nothing to install. Not here, of course. You need to install something, and it is stated you need the net point five point zero. That's the requirement. Runtime. If you don't know how to get it, just copy it, <laughs> and you see you come onto. Google, you say, okay, it's the first one, and you want to install the desktop runtime. Yeah, so it says the net 5.0 desktop runtime. So use this net point. Okay, you go here, probably x64 because it's not 33 bit anymore. You install this, and after you have installed this, because usually you wouldn't have it on your PC, you can use the Ego ERP Achiever, all right? And if you have copied the Ego ERP Achiever to a place you really like, after that you can, for example, use the properties of an ERP file. You can choose Open With, you can change it, search for different apps, and search for the app wherever you have copied the, the Excel. I can't really say where I have copied it, can't really say. It might be, oh here, I think here. Yeah, and then you would make a choice like this, you say Ego ERP Achiever Axa, you just say open, and it's assigned, so the ERP, so the next time you go with an ERP file and double click it, it will open with the, with the correct tool. So, the next thing you need to do, if you didn't have it, because it's your first time with the tool, you need to set the game directory, as you can see. My directory for F121 is as Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, whatever. You maybe have on C, uh, installed on CD, whatever. You click on set directory. You look for the directory for the main folder, all right? For the main folder, no subfolder, just where the axis is laying. And then it's set for the tool. It's very important. If you change back to F1 2020, it's important to switch it back again. Uh, because else the MIPS will not be there. Okay, so. Now we have the tool open, now we have our custom ERP file here, and now we want to import our own texture, or maybe a texture we have found somewhere. So I have a texture here, it's not my own creation, but it's a texture here. So I say, okay, we have it here in liveries. So I like to import textures, import, I go into the folder where I have it, and I say, okay, Mercedes Paint C. Okay, then here comes the mipmaps, which uh, the OD team did not have. I have. I replace the mipmaps. It's taking a little bit. I import once again. You need to paste the uh, folder path once again. I paste it inside there as well. I think I need that one too. Yep, okay. Let's let's keep the decals here. You can do it with the steering wheel, with the decals, with whatever. Okay, so we have imported it. Okay, so textures import, then you import the DDS. It's a DDS file. It's a, it's a texture file. How to open DDS? I will not explain to you because if you're not going to graphics education, uh, edi, editing, um, yeah, there, there's no reason for you. And you find enough sources to which one you use, which program, PaintNet, uh, Photoshop, GIMP, whatever you call. So after that. You just save the file, my team f one Mercedes ERP. You want to replace it? Yes, we want to replace it. And now we have imported it on our own. We have our own file. We open the game one more time. And this way you can import every ERP file, wherever you want to have it. You can import textures all over the game. And mostly if you're using templates that's created by Mayan or me, you can just open it this way and replace the textures inside so you don't have to use the ones that comes with the mod. But now you have more choices for my team. Choose different chassis, 
Maybe you want to play as Alfa Romeo, maybe you want to play as Alfa Romeo with the latest livery. Well, now you have the way how to do it. So now you can see we didn't replace the decal mode, we replaced the main textures and this is how it looks right now. So this is all there is. I hope it helped you understand a little bit. I hope it was uh, straightforward and easy to understand. If not, let me know in the comments what I can improve. And if you have fun with that mod, let me know too. Because that uh, motivates me to keep on going. And um, thanks for watching. And if you're looking at this one here, this is for F122, uh, 2020. Uh, it's modern cars on class, uh, modern liveries on classic cars. If you want me to upload it because I have created it for my personal use, maybe I'll do it. Let me know. If not, well, thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Thanks for being here and uh, have a good race.